Okay, I feel like this is an important topic to talk about. There are many beginner or experienced artists out there who feel discouraged when they see super realistic artwork on social media and feel as, as if they have to resort to tracing because they feel their art needs to be on that level to get more followers. I'm gonna start off by saying, in art, there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. If you feel tracing helps you make a better drawing, or painting, then go for it. If we quickly have a look at our art history, it's been argued that old masters like, for example, artist de Vermeer, used the camera obscure, which was a fancy projector at the time, to create photorealistic paintings. The reason all this was up for debate was because there's no, there was no evidence of any formal training he had and he didn't do much preparatory sketches of his paintings like most artists would at the time. He was moderately successful, but created very few paintings. He wasn't wealthy and he died broke. See, the thing about Vermeer is he created art because he liked it. He didn't do it for clout. Otherwise, he would have created more paintings and made more from it. That brings me to my point here. If you want to trace, just like Vermeer, do it for you. Don't do it because you want to create something for other people's approval. I found that any sort of tracing in any way ends up hurting me. It may help you get something down quickly, but it's not going to help you become a better visual artist. In fact, it's going to stunt your artistic growth. See, when I started drawing as a child, I was trying everything and anything that's ever been done experimenting, seeing what works and what doesn't. Tracing hurts you in two ways. It hurts you in a way that, first off, you're never exercising that visual cortex muscle in your brain that allows you to critically look at something and put the shapes in the right spot. Therefore, you lose your ability to see proportions. As artists, we never want to be in a position where we can't judge proportion. You would never be able to do a live painting of or drawing of any kind because you don't have that projector to trace from. You end up having no freedom. And to be frank, you can usually tell when someone traces, especially with some artists on Instagram. For example, they either post a work in progress photo where every single detail is outlined perfectly without any grids or any sort of shading or painting or they don't post they don't post work in progress photos at all it's there's always something about their work that stands out and i'm not saying it's a good or bad thing i'll get into a more i'll get into more detail in a moment but this is just a heads up for artists that feel discouraged about their work not looking as good. As artists, it's our job to interpret the subject in our own unique way, not copy everything we see. See, you've got to understand that the subject or reference photo is just inspiration. Think of it as a guide to help you express whatever you're trying to communicate visually. Now, there are no lines in nature, just shapes. When you look at my finger, there's no outline, it's just one big shape that consists of lights and darks to give it depth. When you trace, you're tracing lines down and you're so focused on staying within the lines that when it comes to shading or painting, you lose this freshness in your art. Have a look at these drawings. Where would I put a line here for anything? Especially when there's a huge part of it that is soft and has no edges. How would that work? See, what ends up happening is if you trace and you stay within those lines, your painting looks like a cartoon. And if you're doing a drawing, it has borders around every little thing everywhere. There's no life to it, no, no freshness, no subtleties. Every object might be in the right spot, but you lose the soft edges where things just blend into everything else and gives the piece this overall glow. Not to mention, when you do end up covering up those lines with paint, for example, now you're lost. The eye may look wrong, 
but you don't know why because you've lost your ability to see proportions you can't see that little line underneath so you don't know where everything goes and you're just there confused not knowing what to do because you haven't been exercising your brain for the past year or two you get what i'm saying so if you're struggling with proportion there are little mental tricks to help you see proportion better and i'll, and I'll be making a video about that soon so be, be sure to subscribe if that's something you want to see so to conclude this video remember there are no rules you can do whatever you want but know the risks and do it for yourself don't do it for clout or followers because it will end up hurting you in the long run also don't feel discouraged with your art all good things take time and you will get there eventually i made a video about how to master art fast which will help you with your struggles so be sure to check it out thanks for watching let me know below your thoughts on tracing your experiences if you've had any and don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video informative and until next time see you soon <music>